Hello, this is Tolf from Triphobodex with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create fog in Blender quite easily uh, by using this add-on called the Easy Fog add-on. Uh, usually making fog in Blender is kind of, kind of tedious. Um, sometimes you don't get the uh, results that you're looking for, but with this add-on it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And I'll leave a link for you guys to download it uh, in the description below this video. And once you download it onto your system, this is the process is still the same. And I'm using Blender 2.92. Uh, it seems to work uh, quite well in 2.92, but I think it's made for Blender 3.0 and above. But in 2.92, it does work. And you go to Edit, Preferences, and then you go. You click on Install. And then once you've clicked on that, then click on install, navigate to where you've uh, installed it on your computer or downloaded it, then click on install add-on. I've already done that myself. And then once you've done that, you just put a check in the box and it's activated. And this is in your tool panel off to the right here. I'll click on that and let's see, I can pull it up. That's not it. There it is. Okay. Now for this to work, you have to have a cube because it has to create the fog inside of this cube because it uses volumetrics. And it works in cycles and in EV, and obviously it looks better in, in cycles. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually uh, just push the computer and render it out in cycles so you can see what it looks like. So cycles and GPU. And we just click on uh, this JPEG image of the thumbnail. And the only option here is this, which is all that you need. You click on that. And it creates fog. In order to see it, we're going to change the view in our viewport by clicking on that uh, icon there. And you can see the fog is right here and it looks great. Now you can. In You've got these settings here, brightness, contrast. It's not a lot of settings, but you don't real you don't really need a lot in order to get the results that you're looking for. Uh, it has random density for uh, three settings here: the scale, detail, roughness, distortion. Now, the brightness you want to be kind of careful of because I've been testing it in 2.92 and 3.0, and if you make it brighter, it tends to just fill up this whole cube with the fog, and it's kind of hard to go back to just the realistic looking fog like it looks now. But let's just start from the top. We're going to change the color. Just click on that. And blue turns to blue instantly. Same thing with green. Same thing with red, purple, yellow. It just does it just so quickly. It's just pretty impressive. Now, like I said before, you want to be careful with the brightness. Uh, just uh, step it up in increments. So we're going to go to negative 0.8, enter. And you can see that uh, the higher we send this amount, the uh, closer it gets to one, the less fog we can see. If you try to boost this all at once, like I said before, it's just going to fill this whole cube with just a solid color, which is not what we're looking for. Now let's go down to 0 0.4. 0 0.4, enter, and it gives us more fog in our cube. Now the contrast tends to kind of break the fog up a little bit more, but once again do it in increments so you don't, you know, kind of mess up the look of the fog. Let's go up to 0 0.9 and see what that looks like. Enter. And it subtly just kind of gives us some kind of breaking up of the fog so that it's not just one solid piece of, of a uh, fog, so to speak. So with all these uh, values here, just do it in increments to get the results that you're looking for. Don't just try to boost it up all the way up to like 10 or 20 because you're not going to like the results just do it gradually now random random density we can pump this up a little bit to see what that does and you can see that it just pretty much just makes the fog a little bit denser and all these parameters do the same just a little, little click at a time gradually do it and you can see that it really does a great job of giving us like instant results in terms of how we want the fog to look. And it renders out fairly easily in increments when it comes to the scale also. And you can animate this. I think you can animate this. Can you animate this? Let me press I on our keyboard. Yes, you can animate the fog. 
So you just hover your mouse over the values and press I. Because we have a keyframe that doesn't show up in the timeline. Uh, but if we go down to, let's say, 10 here, and we, let's say, let's put this up to 6. Or let's increments. Let's do it in increments. 6i again. So now we have some animation going on. Let's play it and see what it looks like. Hey, look at that. So that's pretty cool. So if you want to have a scene where you have rolling fog rolling into a city, you can animate all these parameters to get the look that you want. Uh, increase the detail once again in increments. Once you pump this up, you can see it subtly adds, once again, some kind of uh, separation in the fog. So it's not like one huge cloud. And the same thing with uh, the roughness and the distort. Is this? I thought this was distortion, but it's did did torsion. Maybe it's supposed to be distortion. Maybe the developer didn't really, you know, uh, name this correctly. But I think this is distortion. So I can bump this up a little bit, and it distorts it distorts it subtly. So yeah, this is the easy fog add-on, and as the name says, it's easy to use, easy to render out. And so once again, this is a Blender quick tip for making easy fog in Blender using the easy fog add-on. And I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. Once again, I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.